I'm frustrated that the education system teaches us not to think. What, what on earth are you talking about, Yvonne? Like, you know, I'm being taught all of this stuff and all of this knowledge. Like, what are you talking about? How, how could that possibly be the case? Where are you coming from? When I look at stuff my students struggle with, and when I say that, I'm also talking about me, obviously, because I went through the same you know, process and education system, and I've struggled a lot with this stuff. One of the things that I realized very late, al it's almost as though the education system killed my ability to make decisions for myself. And it's actually very easy to do. It's very easy to do. Think of a situation where you have a person who works for you and you go, I want you to do, to do the work. You know, they take initiative and they go and do something and they bring it to you and you go, oh, what are you doing? No, that's completely wrong. Oh, such a waste of time. Like, now I've got to go fix it. Go do it this way. And they go, oh, sorry. And then they try and do it again and they bring it back. And I go, oh, no, you still haven't done it right. This is still wrong. Why do I even bother? You can't get good help these days. Go back and do it again, right? And by the third or fourth time that this happens, this person is going to be so demotivated. They'll start shifting to coming to me and going, look, just tell me how you want me to do it. Instead of me trying to figure it out for myself and then getting into trouble for it, I'm just going to ask you, like, just tell me what, just tell me how to do it. Because that's just easier for everyone. Okay, so within a very short space of time, we can take someone who walked into that job with initiative, abilities, like independent work, we can turn them into someone who is too scared to make a move because they're worried that if they don't do it the way that this other person wants to see it, they're going to get into trouble. And so the easiest thing to do is to just go, look, just tell me, just give me the steps. Tell me how you want it to be done. A, B, C, D, fine. I'm going to do that. What's happened is that that person's decision making, their independence, their ownership, their initiative has been killed. If we put that person in those types of positions for long enough, we will create someone who is too afraid to make decisions for themselves, too afraid to step forward and go, oh, I have an idea. That is what I mean when I say you can teach someone not to think. You can take someone who has intelligence, who has enthusiasm, passion, energy, curiosity, and you can kill that pretty easily, sadly, easier than you think. By teaching them that when they do something on their own, it's wrong. It's wrong. Oh, no. Now there's, I mean, if the person came and said, look, this is what, this is what I've done. It's a very different situation if you sit down with them and go, okay, let's take a look at this. Oh, okay, I see what you did there. Can you tell me why, why would you have done that? Like, where does that come from? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. I can see you've misunderstood the instruction or you didn't quite, you didn't get that. Um, cool. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for taking initiative. Yeah, that's cool. I'm really glad. But like, yeah, that's a good start. Okay. So can I ask you to take another shot at this? Can you see the difference between those situations? I'm not saying, you know, we're not taking your work and going, hey, you're amazing. This is amazing. In both situations, we're, we're like, the work needs to be changed. But the way that I treat your mistakes and the way that I treat your work is going to dictate whether you kind of quietly make the decision completely unconsciously to stop thinking for yourself and stop making decisions for yourself. My concern is that the education system absolutely kills our ability to think for ourselves.